All right, welcome to the next video here. And in this video, we're gonna go over intro to markups. So marking up the soap with lines, getting all the measurements correct. So in your five minutes up to the time where they say start, you're able to make sure your pencils are sharp, make sure your ruler is less flimsy. So taking off the back of that ruler and making it more pliable in your hands. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Let's see. So what you can do is you can take your knife, just carefully peel the back away. You get five minutes to do all this, so there's no rush. But you wanna have this done before you start. Okay, so there's that, and then just carefully pull it away. There you go. Now this stiff backing is off. Just kind of toss it, and you're left with this flimsy ruler, which is better for making your lines, making your uh, circumferential lines, for your mark up, marks up and whatnot. All right, so there's that. I'll use that guy. So here we're looking at one of the patterns, okay? So I'd like to go over the dimensions of the soap. So you're given a soap here, and if you didn't know, this soap is about 83 millimeters long, okay? And um, the width of it, it's about, it's 16. So it's 16 width by 83 length. and What's nice about the soaps <clears throat> is the first step is making quadrants and you already have this soap cut in half. All right, so if you look at that, you have a line down here, goes all the way along the side, the back, and the other side. So this is already cut in half, which is great. Your pencil should be sharp, put them to the side here. You're gonna take, first, you're gonna take your blade, okay? And you're gonna take these lines, they're kind of rough. Okay, they have a bit of a lip on them. So what I like to do is I just take the soap in the first 10 seconds and gently smooth that down. Okay, just like that. Kind of shake that off. That's one side. I like to do the ends as well. And go from both ends like that. To make sure these lines are flush with the rest of the soap because you know, I guess the soap making process, when they're putting these two halves together, it kind of forms a bit of a lip. It's a bit annoying. This should take you, honestly, 15 seconds. So when you're done, when you're actually doing the, uh, the soap carving. And then the other side, just like that. All right, that's step one, done. Step two, make sure it's clean. Okay, you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna make the quadrants, okay? So, you're gonna look at your ruler, like this. Stand the soap on end. You're gonna take your sharpest pencil out of your three that you made sure were super sharp to begin with. You're gonna take it. Since this is 16 long, half of that is eight, right? So. You already have your one line here. You want to make a perfect 90 degree angle as best you can. Find the center. Eyeball it as best you can. And then count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that's the halfway mark. Making sure it's good. Here's five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blade, okay? And this is what I recommend you get good at doing. There's multiple different ways of doing this, but this is the fastest way, and if you get good at it, then it should be not a problem. Okay, so <clears throat> you're taking the edge of your blade, 
you're trying to make it as perfect as you can to 90 against this line right here, right? So this line that was already pre-existing. We just put a halfway mark for this entire line here, here to here. Now you're gonna take your blade, put it right on that line, okay? 90 degrees to that line and roll upwards like that. And you're gonna look at it. You're gonna look at it like that and make sure it's good. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one slice across, just like that. There you go. Now you have your quadrants, okay? Four quadrants. Make sure that line's obviously nice and visible and take it over the edge like that, okay? Gently. So now that line going over the edge so you know where it is. For the other side, and this shouldn't take very long at all once you get good at it. There you go, the lines are coming across the end like that, okay? Like that. So we don't even need to know the pattern yet even though you should already have a good idea what it is because you do these uh, this quadrant for every single pattern no matter what the pattern is. Now I'm going to show you the technique for making lines and this is very important, okay? So you have to be very efficient at this, you have to be very fast at this and this should take you no time at all and it's also extremely important because if you mess up the lines your entire measurements are off and I mean you're not going to get a good a good carving even if you're off these lines by like half a mil when you finish your entire carving that means everything on this side that with that line is half a mil and then everything on this side is also half a mil right because it's be shifted okay so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the soap between your middle and finger finger and your thumb just like that okay you're going to have these lines that you just made okay the quadrant you're going to have it facing towards you with your dominant hand you're going to take the eraser well you're going to take the pencil you're going to put the pencil against the palm of your hand like that and have it down the eraser is going to be pushing into the ground okay or pushing into the table just like that and with your pointer finger and your thumb you're going to grip the pencil like that i'd say right about there i don't know an inch away from the tip that's fine put it down like that okay this is this back end pushed into the ground i'm holding it up with this, uh, with my thumb and index finger here. I'm gonna take the soap. I'm gonna look from the side, okay? So I'm looking from the side, from my right side. I'm gonna go right over that line where I put it over the edge, okay? And I'm gonna make sure this is perfect. I'm gonna pull straight back. My wrist is, my wrist is gonna be locked. And I'm just gonna make this motion here. So I'm pulling straight back. There's no wrist involved. Do not move the wrist or you will mess up. It's very easy to mess up my, by moving the wrist as well. So just pull straight back. Wrist is locked, pulling straight back. So this, down, firm. Okay, there we go. There's a line. Now we have to do the other side, okay? So you put that four quads you made again towards you and just do the exact same thing for the other side. Firm into the ground, firm into the palm, about an inch away from the tip. This is firm, this should not move at all. You're putting that right there on that line and pulling straight back without changing that wrist positioning. There we go. All right. Now, you're gonna take those two connectors, those two lines that you just made. You're gonna make a connector line just like that, all the way across, okay? So you see what I did there? I saw this line, I lined up my blade with this line, okay? I just went over carefully, careful not to chip the soap. Now we're like this, okay? And I just pull across. All right, so now we have our quadrants, right? So 
two of these long lines are made by, well, they came with the soap, right? The two halves of the soap being put together. We made these two lines, this top line and this top line. And now we have the ends separate into quadrants cut into half and into perfect halves here as well.